Good morning friends. Finally, we are going to start a course on electromagnetic theory. After seeing the syllabus of various competitive examinations like GATE, Engineering Services and Administrative Services and also after having a keen observation of various university courses, I have decided these order of topics for our course. The course will start with an introduction of electromagnetic theory and then go through coordinate system, coordinate transformation and elements of vector calculus as basic tools to study the course. And then we will make our way through electrostatic and magnetostatics to the time varying fields. This is the core of the subject and bears almost 70% weightage in any competitive examinations. Here we will study Maxwell equations, electromagnetic wave propagation and transmission lines. Ok, so let us start our discussion with the introduction to the electromagnetic field theory or simply say electromagnetic theory. At the very beginning, one may ask certain question like, what is electromagnetics? Well, let me answer it. Electromagnetic is basically the subject dealing with electromagnetic fields. An electromagnetic field is made of interdependent electric and magnetic fields, which is the case when field vary with time. Further. An electric field is a force field that act upon material body by virtue of their property of charge and a magnetic field is a force field that act upon charges in motion. If the definition is not yet clear, nothing to be worried about it. We are going to study this as a whole subject. Ok, so one may again ask why to study electromagnetics? Well, this is because electromagnetics is all around us. Every time we turn a power switch on, we press a key on our keyboard or we use an everyday electrical device, electromagnetics come into play. It is the foundation for technologies of electrical communication and computer engineering spanning the entire electromagnetic spectrum from DC to light waves, from electromechanic technologies to microwaves, antenna and photonics. So my dear friends, how can we leave such a fundamental course? It may take some time and effort to discover its beauty, but once you have the first step, I promise you won't go back. Now let me reveal a secret to you. The course of circuit theory which you read in early semesters is all an approximation of electromagnetic theory. At low frequency, circuit approximations are allowed and so it makes sense to learn the simplified version first. But at high frequencies, electromagnetic effects are prominent. So whether you are an electrical engineer or communication engineer or a computer engineer, whether you are interested in high frequency electronic of high speed computer communication network, electromagnetic effects are prime and studying the fundamentals of electromagnetic is necessary. Well, but one can say. I have a problem with electromagnetics, it is a full of abstract math. My dear friend, let me tell you that it is the power of mathematics that enable Maxwell prediction of physical phenomenon of electromagnetic radiations through its equations, even much before Hertz found it through my experiments. In fact, it was this accomplishment that partly resulted in the equation to be known after Maxwell's, whereas in reality they are not his laws. For example, you will later come to know that the first one is Faraday's law expressed in mathematical form. 
and math is a compact means for representing the underlying physics so we don't disappear when you see mathematical derivations remember they are essential and most useful to understand the concepts in fact Math is only a means to extend the physics. So I hope you might be excited about this particular course. I will see you soon with the basics of coordinate systems. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please press subscribe button. Have an awesome day.